All right, here we are. We are finally going to add in the missing piece of a puzzle. We have the classic um, 909 drum kit for our house remix here. We also have the classic TB, TB303 in the form of the um, VCV rack patch we have created and connected. Lastly, we need vocals. So everyone will have downloaded the uh, vocal file that I've shared on student web. The next thing to do will be to add in a sampler. Um, we have two options here in live instruments. Let's start with the simpler because it's a simpler sampler. Um, and this needs to go onto a MIDI track. So we can drag it into a new spot here and it'll create a MIDI track for us. Could actually, um, let's rename this audio track here because this is where we are getting our TB303 um, audio signal from. So this one should be renamed TB303. We can hide our returns for the moment. Great. Again, this is where we're getting the signal from for the TB303. Cool. Now, simpler. This is it here. Um, Three modes, classic, one shot, and slice. Let's start with classic. And you can see it says drop sample here. So we are going to go to wherever you've downloaded your sample to. Just grab it real quick and drag it in there. And there you go. So now, either with a MIDI keyboard or with the computer keyboard or by sequencing notes um, on the track, we can play this sample. I'm going to turn off my keycaster for a second. <laughs> uh, let's stop casting. There we go. And when you play the C or middle C on your keyboard, it plays the sample from the starting point. And what you can do... Start it from different points. So one approach you could try is to start by on C3 on a MIDI clip on that track, type in a rhythm. Something like that. Um, and then if you launch the clip, let's just listen to this track at the moment and then play around with the start point of the sample now I believe the only way to change this is by moving this flag, this marker. Or potentially we could move this, the start, um, start unit here. So whatever's more useful to you. There we go. Classic. Bring in the beat. Whoa. What happened there? And what's happening there, if you had a similar problem, is that your sampler or simpler track is receiving MIDI from everywhere. And all we want, so including our metronome clock or our arpeggiator clock over here. So make sure you set the MIDI from to no input if we're sequencing it from a clip. Here we go. And now, if you want to tune your sample, open your MIDI clip and move your notes up.
a little bit more intense than I intended. <laughs> uh, let's just try a simpler beat. Try that. <laughs> That's cool. And that's with the one shot option um, mode as opposed to classic. Cool, not bad. <laughs> See if we can add in some hi hats as well. And if they're a bit loud, you can go into the. Uh, 909 and maybe turn down the hats see what options we have in the macros nothing there but if we click on the hat second scene, maybe just the open hats, Let's switch to that scene. Back to here. Oh, missed it. Now, this is why we need to use a controller, which we'll look at right now. Performance controllers. How long has that gone for? Nine minutes. Oh, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Here we go. Um, this is, yeah, one more video. 